So, wanted to talk about an experience, well, actually not just one experience, but a whole narrative of experiences that I've been exploring with my wife this year. Um, there's been a lot of talk more and more over the past several years about the medicinal benefits of psychedelics. And to give a little bit of context about me, um, come from a pretty fundamental background. Uh, there was, you know, grew up not, not believing in intoxication. Even like there was a time where like alcohol and cigarettes were like, for me, like what most people treat heroin like, you know, the D.A.R.E. program hit me pretty hard as a kid. And, uh, uh, I probably wasn't the best brother to my sister when, uh, she went through a smoking phase in college and I became a, probably, it's safe to say I became a little asshole and, um, eventually it evolved and, um, you know, it definitely included cannabis and any other type of intoxication. A lot of it came from a very personal place. I suffered greatly with uh, depression and mental illness and used pharmaceutical medications, which were helping me stay alive for the most part at that time. And um, yes, they sapped my motivation. They made it really hard for me to concentrate. Um, but for the most part, I don't have a quarrel with pharmaceuticals all that much. Um, I actually attribute them to saving my life in a time where if my mind was left unchecked, who knows? But um, anyways, uh, eventually I was able to stabilize towards the end of my 20s and I was able to completely get off pharmaceuticals, something that was not supposed to be possible for my mental health status. And then after about a year of this, I I wanted to do deeper work. Uh, there were things that pharmacology just couldn't help me with, anxiety, um, trauma, anger, deep-seated stuff that was really, really tough to let go. And traditional therapeutic me methods barely put a dent in it. And I had been doing that pretty hard for like two and a half decades. So um, I researched for about six months to a year psychedelics, uh, starting with the most natural one I could find, ayahuasca, which I have not used and um, eventually a friend, a very old friend and a guide in this process with psychedelics introduced me to psilocybin. Um, the kids on the street, I guess, call it magic mushrooms. And I was very, very cautious. Started out with micro doses at first just to see um, how it affected my moods, my mental state, uh, my inhibitions and whatnot. And after a few times of that, I felt familiar enough with how it changed things to go deeper with it and try more. And I was really amazed, even with the micro dosing, I was really amazed at the power it had to help me reflect and go deep and unravel things, typically things that I had to unravel with therapists from, you know, depression, things that depression would bring to my mind. But it was, it was a less personal form of being down. It was reflection. It was that deep reflection that I've heard people talk about with meditation. 
Um, and I haven't gotten too deep into meditation, which typically people who talk about psychedelics are also talking about, you know, meditation and like crystals or, you know, anything that you know, my parent generation would call hoopy shit. Um, I'm not really biased one way or another towards all that. Um, I've, you know, bought a couple of crystals just to see what that's all about. And for the most part, like, I, I think they're pretty cool looking. Um, I have found some great effects with them. I can't tell you whether or not that's purely a uh, placebo effect, but regardless, like, I, I like to experiment, but not for recreational purposes. Everything I do is for educational or therapeutic usages. And that that definitely tugs on, you know, the annoyant strings of a lot of the people who are into psychedelics. Um, they, they don't like to feel weird for using these things therapy or for using them recreationally. And they have very strong opinions on the lack of danger that these things pose recreationally. And for the most part, I would say that I don't disagree with them. Because when you compare them to recreational usage of like pharmaceuticals, it actually seems significantly less dangerous and actually incredibly more likely to have positive outcomes as opposed to negative outcomes. It's just like alcohol. Like you're, it depends who you're with, you know, what you're doing and all that kind of stuff. Like it's very easy to have a bad time on alcohol if you're in an uncontrolled environment with people you don't trust and, you know, not in a good mental place. And I'm finding that psychedelics are not any different than that. And if alcohol can be safe, from what it seems like to me and my skeptical point of view through all of this, it seems like psychedelics can be even safer than alcohol, significantly safer, actually significantly safer than pharmaceuticals or other drugs that have never been illegal. Because as we remember, prohibition was a very real thing with alcohol. Um, so it, it seems like this prohibition phase for psychedelics may be coming to an end. Um, I've also, after experimenting several times with psilocybin, explored LSD. And that one was, I was really hesitant to get into. Um, probably for the same reasons people have, <laughs> you know, I just saw too many movies. And... Um, it's ironic because <laughs> um, I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood right before I tried LSD and that almost freaked me out and, and then I used it and I realized, okay, this is like a really, really intense sugar high with, with less hyperactivity energy, but on a physical level, like I had that mental hyperactivity energy, but it didn't fade in like, you know, 20 to 40 minutes. It was, it was there for hours. Um, but I was also very physically lethargic, but came with bursts of physical energy. It was, it was an interesting experience. It was like all the perks of mania, but none of the downsides. I was able to look at things from a perspective of intense love and affection as opposed to excitable manic energy, which was really, really good because I struggle with that intense love and compassion and um, that those kind of emotions. So it was good because it felt like it pushed me to new heights like a workout, and I felt like I was stronger after that. So these are my experiences, and I I no longer have the taboos that I used to have over these. My skepticism did not survive the therapeutic value 